mounting uh, menu and the look ahead uh, function. Uh, you can count from uh, the bars high and lows or uh, the close depending on which one you choose in the counting. In this case we're going to use the highs. Uh, you left click on a high, uh, right click on a low, left click a high, right click a low, uh, left click a high. Uh, you can move things around if uh, they're obscured. And this gives you all the information you need to determine if price and or time squarings uh, have occurred as we explain uh, in the book. Uh, a very fast way to do that is with the look ahead. And what you can do with the look ahead is you can enter uh, a known price range or price or the number of days in a swing either trading or calendar days and we'll do that for this one, 774.38, which was the high on uh, October 5th, 2012, and you click Calc. And what's going on here is this is the known price that we input. Uh, this first column, uh, 104, is the number of degrees, or it's the price of 774.38, uh, converted to degrees of a circle. And one reason that we can say that price and time are interchangeable is that they're both convertible to degrees of a circle. Uh, 194 is the 90 degree opposition, 284 is the 180 degree opposition, and 14 is the 270 degree opposition uh, to 104. And the four columns uh, in the grid view uh, represent all of the numbers in this case in the first column. These are all of the numbers that fall on the 104 degree line uh, in the square of 9. Uh, these numbers in the second column, 1940, 69 and so forth, fall on the 194 degree line and in the third column, 23, 47, 78, fall on the 284 degree line. And what you want to do is you want to match up uh, combinations of prices and times uh, to see if a squaring has occurred and if indeed several squarings have occurred. And we explain how to do that in the book. I'm not going to uh, uh, go over that in detail here. Uh, which uh, ways that price and time can square and which tend to be the most important for your ticker, uh, you have to gain by experience. But the look ahead function has a hundred rotations, so that enables you to uh, either use the data on the chart for very short term swings or to go outside the chart. Uh, you know, for example, you should know uh, the all-time high and low for every ticker that you trade. For example, the low was 22.90 uh, in corn in 1932. So as long as you know that, you can flip it in here and you can go through the uh, the grid view and determine what price levels in corn uh, would square with the all-time low or the all-time low of the uh, the Dow, or the low of the Dow in 1932. But, you know, Gann used to walk into the trading floor with 100-year charts, and he knew uh, to the decimal point uh, all the significant highs and lows for that 100-year period, and you would be uh, wise to do the same, and the look-ahead makes it fairly easy to do that. Okay, that wraps up the overview videos for the menu commands for the training software and we'll just add that depending on which books that you own uh, not all functions will be available for example if you have only the Hearst book then only the Hearst method functions or menu commands will be available well thank you for watching I hope you uh, get something out of it